anyway, going back to the, what I was saying to Mr. Kiwi, I am, um, I'm teaching a Brit Lit class this semester, and it's on like old English. So we're starting out like we're doing Beowulf right now, uh, and it's fun to revisit some of these much, much older, you know, early, early English works. So I'm having fun with that. It's cool to be teaching Beowulf in the sense that um, Tolkien was a huge Beowulf fan, actually translated it and uh, taught it at university, and um, it was one of his main influences for The Lord of the Rings, and you can completely see it when you read the poem. So because I'm such a big Lord of the Rings fan, it's fun to come back and appreciate it because when I read Beowulf the first time I was in high school, and I thought some of it was kind of cool, but, you know, I just didn't appreciate it as much. And then I only briefly touched on it um, when I was in college. I spent more time with uh, Middle English than Old English. So doing stuff like Chaucer, Canterbury Tales, um, Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, I don't know if you guys do this, but I always just try to collect all the cobblestone. I find it to be really good. And my bags are once again replete. So I'm going to poke around and just look to map some stuff before I go. But let me put this aqueduct on my map so I can start to make my base a bit bigger. So I'm going to just put this here. I'm going to mark this um, with teal so it shows up and just call this, um, you know, aqueduct. And leave it there so I can come back and get the materials. This is sandstone. Nothing tremendous. I'm going to eat these berries while I'm here. We don't want to get scurvy. You know, it's a bad look to have a vitamin C deficiency. So we're going to just... Oh, oh, look what we found. It's a big pit that has who knows what on the inside, right? Right? So I'm gonna get, gather up uh, as much of these berries as I can from these fresh bushes. And our satiety is completely full. There's purple flowers, and there's a nice forest over here actually, which is uh, quite helpful if we're looking for, you know, sticks and wood and stuff. But I'm going to unwisely just take a look in this cave really quickly, and I'll bail if it proves to be too difficult, but I am curious. And there's drifters down there already, so we can see them being angry and coming out. So we're just going to, like, hightail it out of here. I don't really want to fight them at the moment. I don't think that drifters that are that shallow will drop anything tremendous for me. I was more looking just to see if I could find a lucky ore seam or something like that, but in all, I mean, you know, like, from what everybody is telling me about the game, those, like, that Minecraft sensibility or that Minecraft instinct of going into a cave and finding an ore seam like that is just not how it works in this game. Uh, so, we'll skip it. I'm going to harvest this and harvest all these berries. <laughs> You know what's ridiculous, perhaps, is, like, I just find the whole idea of, oh, it's copper, people. I knew it. I knew I was getting close for some reason. Excellent. Okay. I find the whole idea of, uh, let me eat this fish. I don't really need that much nutrition right now. That's 200 satiety for that cooked fish. No, I don't. I find the whole idea of building a pantry just absolutely delightful for like, you know, and having a root cellar or an underground storage. It it, it need not be that cool, but um, I'm pumped about it. All right, let me let me mark this. 
Uh, my bag is full, and, you know, I shouldn't have brought these vegetables with me. Oh, cool, Mr. Kiwi. That's great. I wonder if I should show my, uh, show my students that. Yeah, I love Tolkien. It's so cool how many awesome videos you can access with really, really smart people talking about great topics on YouTube. A hobbit hole, indeed. It's not just any kind of hole. It's a hobbit hole. It's not dank. Uh, Alright, I will call this copper. And we'll come back. But terrific. I'm actually pretty far away from my home. And I, I can eat the fish. Um, like Alex is saying, for sure. To get some space. And then I would just need space for, like, a little bit of copper. I, oops, that's the wrong thing. Here, pick that up. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, no, eat the fish. Trust me. You can do it. All right, great. And then now, I'm just going to bust up this copper. And let's dig around and see if there's any copper, like, right here. The shovel broke. That's actually good. It's not good for right now because I didn't bring a backup shovel. Um, but we can just use our pick. And that's not my pick. That's my scythe. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this in my offhand and just kind of just probe around, see if we can quickly find any copper here. Seeing it as it is on surface. Eh, not yet. Alright, let's go. I don't want to get caught out after dark, and we'll be right back. I got a spear and a smile. Just out of curiosity, um, I, I'm saying this, it's, it, it's probably the case, but the pickaxe is the way to, the most efficient way to go after cobblestone, correct? It's the right tool for that job. Like, I don't have pickaxes to spare, really, and I can do it with my bare hands, but if I wanted to do it really quickly... I would just... Okay, thank you, Alex. Mm -hmm. Now, this is lead, and then there's some copper right next to it. This is curious. So let's mark this. Lead and copper. And we'll just kind of put it on here. Like that. Oh, that's great. That's exciting, because I really want a bunch of cobblestone to just kind of build my base. Alright, so... I'm gonna just venture... over yonder. Oh, Nero, um, you said The Rest is History podcast just did two episodes on Tolkien and LOTR... Yes, exactly. And you know what's cool about that, Nero? I didn't hear that podcast, but um, I've read some of what Tolkien has written about his story. And a lot of people interpret Lord of the Rings being about World War II, you know. Um, and Tolkien is kind of like, I wrote it before World War II, and the most formative experience in my life was World War I, not World War II. So if it's about anything, it's about that, um, and not World War II. Or he at least wrote The Hobbit before that and, and was formulating and working on the stories before World War II. Yeah, 
Yes, granite blocks to make a cairn. Exactly. And I think I know where some of that is in a cave. We just have to go get it. And look at all these cattails right by my base if I was patient enough. Oh, it's so sad. I... I th some of the estimates... Um, that's right, Alex. I think it's something preposterous like a third of the uh, young male population in um, in Britain died in World War One, or some some staggeringly high number of you know the eligible people. All right, let me put this away. Um, where did that go? It went over there. It didn't stack. Shame on you. You should have stacked on your own item. Okay. Uh, we will put away... I'm going to put away copper shears for right now. Um, this is good for... Did you guys say that copper shears are good for getting twigs? Like this is good for getting sticks? Is that what the, the primary gathering is for that? Thank you, Jan. Oh, man, that's awesome. You know what's funny is like... Getting sticks is, is actually kind of cumbersome in the early game. I'm like, oh, this takes forever. Oh, here's speaking of sticks. Here's some right here. All right, let me just put these away. And then we will take these sticks out. Mm-hmm. Okay, I could put that away. Got some dirt to put away here. All right, fantastic. Oh, the spoil time made them stack differently. That makes sense, right? They can't stack if they're going to spoil differently. I get it. All right, let's take out our pelt. Let's see if we can have the Shangri-La moment here. It's something like this. Yes, look at this. Hunter's backpack. We got one. I'm so pleased with that. Huh. Why can't I put that away? Do I have to hold it or something? Huh. Is it because there's stuff in my basket? Wow, cool, Nero. Yeah, I don't know enough about it. Like, I mean, I studied it in school, but that was it. I wonder how I take the stuff out of it. You know, like, I replaced it on... Um, am I... I can't seem to get rid of it. Drop it on the ground. Uh, I can't. It's just kind of like... If I push Q, I just drop what's in my hand. Hey, Feeple. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Um, you know what we did, Feeple? Maybe it's just a graphical artifact. Like, I'm not really holding it. Yeah, Nero, this game is awesome. You know what we did, Feeple, is we defeated um, the dungeon boss. And we made armor out of um there we go i finally dropped it we made some better armor out of uh the the hell like the stone that you get from the lava okay let's see all right, I'm going to go ahead and get my boards. Yeah, Hellstone, people. Okay, Nero. Have a good night, my friend. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, I wasn't able to install the latest version before the stream because I got them uh, I saw that that had happened too late
All right, cool. And vessel. Oh, I can't have this here. I can't get out. Well, get out of here. All right, and then let's think. Storage vessels. I don't know if I fired up that many of those, to be honest with you. I don't think I did. I should make some. I made it in the uh, the guide series, but I didn't really make that many in this. Mm-hmm. Pie. Pie is good. All right. For now, I'm going to just put the, uh, the onion here. And I'm going to put... Uh, where did my carrots go? Well, I had to put them somewhere. Let's look at the... Actually, they're already pretty good. 80 days uh, for these onions. So I don't really need to, you know, get too crazy with them. That's, that's very generous. Mm hmm Okay. Um, I'm gonna put this away. And then... Put that away, and... I suppose we can put this away. I need a new shovel. And I don't need to carry boards with me. And I don't really need to carry buckets with me either. Although buckets would be sweet on, a, on my shelf. I like just having my utility stuff out because it looks cool. I can just put the buckets here, actually. It's a... Oh, wow, it's huge when you put it down. Now that's one big bucket. I know. I had 59 carrots. I think they're in this basket for some reason. And I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to retrieve them from inside there. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know how to explain why that would be the case, but I just have this feeling that they're stuck in there. Okay. And we can put some shelves in different places. There. Right, now we have some decorative shelves up for when we need to store things. They're not? Okay, let's find them. Uh. Alright, good. I don't see them there. Check my garden. Did I drop him in the garden? That would be awful. I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I have these carrots to harvest, but... I don't know where they went. They're gone. I might have thrown them on the ground. I might have. There was that period where, like, I was trying to get rid of that basket that I was holding. But this basket is, like, untargetable. And I don't know why I wouldn't, at this point, pick them up, considering... Um, I have so much empty space. But anyway, I digress. We'll figure it out. 
All right. So we're going to just kind of put carrots in here. And we can put the carrot seeds in here as well. And then we can put away this sandstone. Like that. And like that. Okay. So let's talk. It's very dank. Dank indeed. All right. I have spears. I need a shovel. Let's get one. Got one. And um, I have this backup pickaxe, right? So I could take that out and do some work. But let's go ahead and fire up the, uh, the brass. Let's see if we can figure that out. So we'll make ourselves a nice um, firing pit. And it could just be down here, to be honest. We've got the space for it. I just would use... Um, no, not sand. Granite cobble skull. Yeah, that looks great. Put the skull down there. Hey, Shady, what's up, my friend? Good evening. Doing great, my friend. How you doing? All right. And then we're going to... Oh, that's right. We needed another crucible to get that. So let's make that. So I'm going to just go ahead and craft myself another crucible for the time being. Um, I think you can make like four at once, can't you? Yeah. Let's make four. Let's just have a ton of these things, just in case this this disaster ever happens to me again. Oh, uh, do this tool. Actually, no, you can do the two by two. That's fine. We just got to aim it better. All right, we're going to craft up the world's most beautiful crucibles. Okay. Cup of coffee and job hunting sounds good, my friend. Good luck on the job hunting trail. Coffee is always a good ally for something like that. All right, so I'm just kind of forming the sides of these crucibles with my amazing pottery skills. And then once we get this layer done, we get to do the fun stuff, which is to duplicate. And we're just going to duplicate that layer. Do it again. Do it again. And then now we need to make a new layer, but we can use this super one and go... Uh, Oh, no, it's, that's right. It always tricks me. There isn't one in the middle. Yeah, Mr. Kiwi, this is so cool. This is one of the most charming parts of the game is this um, crafting system. All right, now we got four of these. So I'm going to set them all down. And we're going to fire these up. I have grass right here. I might not have enough sticks, to be perfectly honest with you. I think you might need more than this. But we can get it started. Yeah, I need one more, I think. Oh, no, firewood. Good, we're already there. Never mind, I lied. Great, we had enough. All right, time to light it up. All right, so those crucibles are going. That's terrific. Now what we need to do is, it's almost morning time again, which is cool. I would like to build another firing pit 
this this is my other firing pit area and let's just go ahead and heat up this crucible and try to get all of the ore out of it i think well let's talk about how much is in there right so inside the crucible we have um no i'm not trying to put something there my fault Uh, here we go. So in this crucible, there is 79 units of copper. And so I think I want to just pour this into uh, a mold that we need another tool of. And our axe is running pretty low, right? We have like a scrap axe, but we don't have a copper axe. So I think we should pour ourselves a copper axe. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to just kind of put this... Um, on the fire pit with some peat. I think that's the way to do it. And then we'll need our charcoal. Let me see how much of that I actually have. I have uh, 14 charcoal, so not a lot, but enough to do this job. Oh, and my these things need to go in my other box. Okay. Put the clay away for now. We can put this uh, actually, we have the wood box right here, so let's just go ahead and put... We can put a little firewood in here, some sticks in there like that. <laughs> Crispy, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Yes. Oh, man, that's my mantra, Crispy. I'm with you. I do it all the time, too. It's easy as falling out of bed. All right, great. And I think this... Does the peat take it to 900? Is that the uh, the cap that we're looking for? I want these tongs, by the way, or the shears. I want to go get some sticks. I'm, I'm low. I'm so low. Thank you, Alex. Okay, so what we're going to do is get this crucible up to 900... And then we're going to pull a switcheroo on the fuel source to the charcoal. Then we're going to get it, like, you know, outrageously hot. And um, take it over to the mold. And the nice thing is I can just pour it in the mold of the axe. And even though I don't have enough... Um, oops, that's the wrong stack. That's why it's not working. I will be able to just kind of put it in there and for now and clear out the crucible. All right, let's see how it's going. Um, there it goes. Baking temperature 2400. No, 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 I'm not baking it. I'm going um, molten copper. There we go. So I can take it out now, I believe, and put it here and then put this away. And then we're going to just pour this into this. Um, fill this up or get as close as we possibly can. So the axe is almost there. Now while this is happening, I can go down here and put my crucible... Um, oh, it's not... Wait, not <laughs> I keep thinking that's how you do that. You don't do it like that. Um, I can put this in here... Um, like that and then we're going to do the trick of this and this <laughs> now it's perfect crispy I love it it's a great part of the stream alright and then we're going to bring um, this is actually still at 300 degrees but it's still not enough we're going to just add some peat to this get it going 
All right, it's still it's still lit. I don't know if that's enough, Pete. Let's just kind of add some more just in case. 